My name is Shinae Zhang, uh, Associate Professor in Residence at UConn. The focus of my research uh, at UConn is so-called structural health monitoring. Like doctors in the medical field, as a civil engineer, we want to monitor our infrastructure using sensors. So uh, we are working on developing some wireless smart sensors and some de damage detection algorithms. Uh, we build this trust bridge for testing uh, the image detection algorithm. So here, uh, this is modular truss bridge. So if we want to check damage bridge with, uh, because of stiffness reduction, then we can simply replace one member with damage one, and then uh, check the performance before and after uh, damage, and then we can investigate uh, our algorithm. Bridgeway motion is very important because a bridge was designed with some load. When time goes by, the truck gets heavier, then sometimes that heavy truck load is exceeding bridge's design criteria, right? Then very heavy uh, truck can dam actually damage bridge. And then we want to avoid having that happen. If the damage is hidden, then it's not visible. We want to find those hidden damage with sensing system. Currently, I have three uh, outstanding students in, uh, in my lab. Benjamin Brusiati, he's my master's student. My thesis has two projects. Uh, one is RFID-based crack detection on ultra-high performance concrete. And then the next part is bridge weigh in motion. Essentially, you're just using um, the responses from a bridge to weigh trucks as they travel across the bridge. You're kind of working a lot with the unknown. You're not really sure uh, where exactly your research is going, but you're trying to find new methods for trying to monitor structures for us and our group. Uh, another student is uh, Pierre Fils. So he's a PhD student and he joined this semester and he's supported by NSF's Bridge to Doctors program. Bridge to the Doctor is essentially uh, an extension to the LSAMP program. LSAMP stands for the Lewis Stokes Alliance for minority participation. So essentially getting underrepresented groups involved in research and opening the horizon to show them that there is a possibility to do research. While I was working with Ben, we used RFID for ultra high performance concrete and we did a proof of concept for a controlled environment in the lab. I'm trying to develop a methodology such that we can implement this technology in the field and account, and account for the different environmental factors. Our third student is Bartek McCormick and then he's undergraduate student. The project I'm working on is, or uh, most involved with, is the Bridgeway in Motion project. And my role there is I will be trying an attempt to address some of the difficulties in existing Bridgeway in Motion methods. Existing methods are very good with typical 18-wheeler trucks. However, once you have something that's small and dense, like a dump truck or perhaps a uh, flatbed that's not loaded completely, the response uh, data that you're getting from the bridge is uh, much different. What I'll be trying to do is to add a intermediate step where the response data is categorized. I've had an interest in data science and uh, coding prior to this, but I was always looking for a way to merge that interest with my formal education with civil engineering, and this has just been a great opportunity to do so, and it's, it's really exciting.